The update to Mo Type 2 by Yanobox features animated trails that follow your text. In this video, I'll focus on creating trails with type and working with those parameters to stylize your titles. Before watching this, I recommend watching the Motion Mixer video, which will cover some basics. For these demos, I'm using MoType inside Final Cut Pro, but MoType works in Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Apple Motion. Documentation is always available from the Help button that appears in the inspector. Here, you'll get a detailed description of each parameter within the various groups of the inspector. Every graphic begins with the text editor at the top of the inspector, and through use of special formatting, you can isolate and control specific characters in the animation. When exploring presets, always open the text editor to see how formatting produces unique results. Let's get into the topic of trails. Trails are a streak-like effect that can be modified to create directional blurs, give an appearance of ink or smoke, and create various styles of shadows. Opening the group of parameters under trails, there are two modes for different trail effects. Motion blur applies a temporary, directional trail during the animation. Motion painting creates a longer trail along the text element's animation path. The angle and direction of trails is often dictated by the motion path of the text from the motion mixer. Let's open the preset named You Need Shadows. This trailing shadow effect is a good place to explore the trail parameters to understand what everything does. If I isolate the trails by choosing Apply to Headline, then Disable the Fade, it helps us to see what changing the noise values will do. Making different adjustments to the noise amount, frequency, and speed will allow us to randomize the movement of the trails that follow the text. What was once a single path that appeared as a long shadow now looks like tails waving behind each character. Applying fade and the noise parameters to your trails, you can create a smoke or ink and water type effect. Let me revert back to the preset defaults. Playing with some other adjustments, I can switch the blend mode in trails color to max, and now I have a nice tinted shadow. I can reduce the motion paint length, change the color, blend mode, and now I have a 3D extrusion look. Finally, if I switch the color to black and adjust the opacity curve, now we have a drop shadow look. Adding few adjustments to the camera in the transformations group can give a dynamic, kind of wide angle effect. Remember that the direction of the trails depends on the path of motion. So changing the positions for X and Y will change the trail angle. To recap, we focused on reviewing the values of parameters within the various presets to better understand how to use trails and trails color groups of MoType. This reverse engineering approach is a valuable technique to become well versed with creating your own designs and animations from scratch. Check out our other video on MoType, where we use similar principles to get an overview of particles.